think that um, you know that this, this can be hard at times. You want to do other things, but you are almost fifth graders and you are showing it by digging into your work, even though there's other things you might want to be doing. And Miss King is super proud of you. And times when you, when you find it hard, take a little break, but get back to it. Reach out to your teachers. Um, you know, reach out. If you let them know, they will let me know and I can get a hold of you too. But we're here for you because this is hard work. This is, this is big kid stuff and you guys are doing great, okay? And I'm, I'm excited about it. I get to hear all about the good stuff you're doing. All right, so give me a thumbs up if you're gonna keep that work up, okay? I see that, I see that, awesome, awesome. I know that you guys use this time to do um, some great conversation about your work, talk about things, and so I'm not gonna stay on for, for a long time. But remember, this Zoom time is special. So definitely, you know, engage. Talk to your teachers and your classmates and really enjoy this time. Ms. King looks forward to Wednesdays. And I try to visit everybody at least every other time. If not, I might get better at it and get every time too. So, but I'm really proud of you guys. And I'm proud of your teachers. Make sure and say thank you to your teachers because they rock. And I will talk to you later. So everybody give a wave so I can leave you to your class work. And to Mrs. Thanks, King, Mrs. Mrs. Wildman, yep, yep. And Mr. Mills and Mrs. Richards and Mrs. Zucker. And I will talk to you later all. Love you guys. Love you guys lots. See you later. All right. That was nice to see Miss King. Everyone's thinking of you guys. Okay, uh, Mrs. Spade, are we ready to rock and roll? I um, think we're good to go, Mrs. Wildman, thank you. Okay, well, I just wanna start off and say how impressed I am with you guys continually getting your Indian in the cupboard packets done. <laughs> you guys have got the hang of it. You got the hang of it. You're writing in your Google Slides and you're going back and hitting and turn in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love the book. I've, I've been listening. I know Sadie really loves the book. Maitland loves the book. Uh, it's just a lot of fun and, and glad to see everyone's enjoying it. Um, it's going to get better. It'd be hard to believe that this book could get any better, but it's going to get better. We have just a couple more weeks with this book and then we're going to finish the school year with something else. But uh, keep it up. Keep doing your IXL and read theories. I sense a little shaky on people doing the read theories and the IXLs, my dear children. Make sure you're in the language arts one for me. <laughs> oh, oh, Mrs. Uh, I know. <laughs> Make sure you're in the language one arts for me and math for Mrs. Spate. And I have a 20 minute cap. If you can't get to 100, but in 20 minutes, that's okay. Just at least practice 20 minutes. That's all I'm asking you. It's a good little practice. I'm really taking a look at what I'm assigning you in IXL and making sure it's not too hard. There was this mythology one and I said, no way. We're not going down that road today. But just keep up on it. One last thing I would like to share with you before I turn it over to Mrs. Spate is we're going to have a wonderful fun Friday. Look at over here. Do you see this right here? We've got something planned. Got some uh, learning for you to do, some reading, some cool videos, some great research and information on this morel mushroom. We've got some warm weather coming. We've got some rain coming. It is the perfect environment for this elusive morel mushroom. So this Friday, you're gonna learn all about the morel mushroom. And if you could afterwards, ask your parents. You don't just take off, you gotta talk to your parents and talk to your family members if it's okay if you guys can go hunting for some morel mushrooms, okay? But I want you to learn about them first because there's some poisonous ones out there, right, Mrs. Spate? Oh yes, don't eat those, yuck. Don't eat those. We don't need any of that. Nope. Nope. 
Just but, curious, Mrs. Wildman, uh, yeah. can we get a thumbs up if anybody has been hunting for morel mushrooms mm -hmm. before? How many people are mushroomers? Oh, I see Drew with two thumbs up. I knew you would be, buddy. Yep. We got Mrs. Richards going. Caden oh, yeah. goes. Nice out in the falls. Probably there's some good spots out there. Caleb, nice. Toby's got kind of like a finger wave going. I don't know if that means he's gone, but <laughs> uh, Aiden's been out there. I was going to say Aiden Grandpa knows where they are, too. Sterling. Abel, good. Okay, good. We got lots of mushroomers, Mrs. Wildman, so that'd be awesome. State, maybe you should have them do a perimeter map and let us know where they find them. Yeah, <laughs> some coordinates, uh, <laughs> X and Y, maybe. <laughs> and Mrs. Zucker is willing to eat any of the ones that you find that you don't want. Mrs. Zucker, that's very kind of you. <laughs> Drop them off over here in East Jordan. Look at, look at Drew. He's shaking his head. No way. Drew's eating I just want to know where you find the one that's as big as Mrs. Wildman's head. That one looks really good. <laughs> yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> this right here you is all that one that you can find. Just that one right there. See, we've, we've found two. This one's dried up a little bit. But I want to point out, I don't know if you can see that very well. Look how the cap is connected to the stem. That's how you know it's a true morel. Now there's these false morels out there that call them caps. And the top of the, um, the head of the mushroom here, it does not connect to the stem. That's no good. You want the one that connects like that. See how that goes in, okay? They say they kind of look like brains. This is dried up, <laughs> see? But we'll soak that in water and we'll eat that up. Okay, there's your first tip. Now there's many more tips that's coming to you Friday morning for you guys to read and watch and, and explore, okay? Final thing, when you get done, I wanna see some pictures and videos in Seesaw, please. We wanna see your findings. And no, you don't have to tell us exactly where it was at. <laughs> you can direct message me. <laughs> but really just have fun. It's been so cool lately. I want you guys to get out, get some vitamin D, get some sun on you and have a good time with your family, all right? Okay. Nice, Mrs. Wildman, thank you. Yeah, and in my family, Mrs. Wildman, when you find a cap, one of the false morels, you gotta pick it and throw it at someone in your family. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it's a little violent at the Spate household, but I'm that's how we keep it in <laughs> <laughs> That's how we keep everybody on their toes. Excellent. Body workout. <laughs> Mickey, right, Mickey, we're going to do questions and answers after it's Mrs. Spate's turn, and then we're going to open it up to this. Me first, Ryan, me first. Okay, I got a couple things, Ryan, so hold your horses if you would, please. First off, if you've been up early, and I know Theo was up early, I don't know if he made it to the math video, but he made it to the science. I'm starting to sneak some pictures into the math videos, spruce them up a little bit. You'll see a star today in our uh, video make an appearance. Someone who maybe enjoys being diced up into little pieces, fractions and decimals. So be on the lookout in those math videos for some familiar faces. I've been looking through some old pictures and throwing them in. So you might be the star in one of our math videos. They start today, so be ready. Um, another thing I wanna mention, there's gonna be a bonus Zoom this week. Be ready, bonus Zoom. I see Olivia's wondering, what's going on? Olivia, if you get all your work done, your math, your science, your Indian in the cupboard, your IXL for Mrs. Wildman, you have it all done by Thursday at five o'clock. Now, Olivia, you don't have to worry about Friday's assignments, kiddo, because those aren't assigned yet. But if you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday's assignments done, Friday morning, we're going to do a bonus Zoom just for fun. We are going um, and meeting with Mrs. Leach from Raven Hill. She's going to join in on the Zoom. And if Kaylee's got all her work done, I'm going to send her a special invite. And she's welcome to come in. Mrs. Leach is going to talk animal adaptations because that's our next science unit. She's going to show us some of her animals from Raven Hill and all the adaptations that they have. So it's gonna be really cool bonus Zoom, but you gotta get your work done. So if you don't get an invite, that means you're missing something. So look through there, make sure you got all your math done, science, Indian in the cupboard, completely done for Mrs. Wildman, your IXLs for Mrs. Wildman, and you'll get a special invite and you're welcome to join us. 
if Haley can't join us, even though all her work is done, that's okay. She, she doesn't have to, but it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna be joining Mr. Coates' class and Mrs. Stonick's class in this Zoom. So it's gonna be a full fourth grade Zoom, which should be pretty neat. But you gotta have your work done. Sound good? Thumbs up if you got it. Work done. Thursday is your last chance to get it all in. Now, some of you, every week you get all your stuff done, no worries. You'll get that Zoom invite. So that what, should be fun. What time um, was that, Mrs. Bate? What's that, Mrs. Wildman? What time was that uh, tentatively at? 11.30. 11.30. Yep. And it'll be in the invite too. And you'll have that invite um, either Friday evening or early Friday or Thursday evening or early Friday morning. Mrs. Wildman and I will be checking through, making sure your work is good. So should be a fun one. And it's nice to see some friends from Coates and Stonic on Zoom too. What an awesome, awesome activity, guys. Get it done. That's really cool. Mrs. Fate's doing that for you. Very, very cool. And I have Mrs. Leach. She's kind of famous in our area. She's kind of like our female Bill Nye. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And she's got some cool animals. If you haven't been to Raven Hill, She's got some good stuff for you to see. So should be fun. And it fits what we're doing next in science, which is all plant and animal adaptations. There's some really fun stuff in this next unit. Um, there we're gonna talk about, I know a lot of you guys were interested in the muscles and the tendons. Um, we're gonna be looking at the eyes, how you can see in the dark. On Friday, our fun Friday is looking at how human eyes work versus dog's eyes and how they see differently than you and it's really cool. So there's some fun adaptations for humans and animals, which is pretty cool. Um, and really good news, this is our last week of fractions. Our last week of fractions. Look at Carter celebrate. Carter, it has been two and a half months of fractions. And you, sir, <laughs> Sterling just won the lottery. Um, you <laughs> get a break from fractions. Woo, that was a lot of work. I know those fractions get pretty tough. Um, and we're moving on to geometry, which is a little bit uh, more, it's a little easier, um, lots of vocabulary, but I think you'll find the geometry to be a little bit easier for you. So whew, fraction break coming up. I wanna remind you guys too, on Tuesdays, I'm doing some small group fraction work for people who needed just a little bit of extra help. I've had Charlotte come a couple of times and they quite a few people and it has really made a good a big difference with their work. So if you get invited to one of those fraction groups, please show up. It's not that scary, is it, Olivia? Nah, nah. Just a little bit more practice helping you get ready for middle school. So um, if you would use that invite that I send to you, I send it to you on Google Classroom, I send it to your parents. Um, and come on in on Tuesdays and get that a little bit of extra help. And last but not least, I'm looking at this, some shout outs, some people who are just doing some outstanding work. Connor, keeping up with it. I love it. Nice work, my friend. Theo, I love your positivity every day. He's like, oh, that's cool. That's interesting. Theo, nice job. Lily, keeping up with that work. Awesome, Miss Lily. And I want to give a huge shout out to Kylie. I threw a challenge math workout this week to uh, a group of people and she took it on and she's given it a whirl. It's not easy, but she's going for it. So good job, Miss Kylie. Shout out to Luke uh, Detcher, keeping up with his work, doing awesome work. Lucas, not only does he have good hair, he's got good math skills. So nice job. Tyvin, nice job keeping up with your work, buddy. Super impressive. Look, mom's happy in the background. Keep them happy, buddy. Olivia, always doing her best. Mrs. Wildman and I were talking about that the other day, how hard she works. So Mr. Mills, you should be proud of our girl. She has been working, working, working. And Aiden making a huge comeback. He was struggling there for a little bit and now he is on track. He's getting some work done and he's looking good. So Aiden, nice job, buddy. Nice job. And Mrs. Wildman, that's what I had. Okay. Um Wonderful job. That's really exciting. I hope everyone gets their work in for that. I want to see these eyeballs. That's <laughs> pretty cool. I'm really intrigued now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me see that eyeball, Mickey. Uh, Sadie's popping hers out for you, too. Oh, you just keep it in your head. Um, I was wondering, I put out there for the kids yesterday, if anyone was able to see the flyover for our frontline workers. 
was it anyone able from their yard i we 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 went out and we didn't see anything but i didn't know if anyone out there was able to see the airplanes go over for our frontline workers so i can share that my mom lives um minutes from selfridge air national guard base in lower michigan this that's where i grew up and uh, she was calling me numerous times from her front yard and she lives close enough that you can not only hear them when they're going by you could hear just when they started up their engines when they were getting ready to take off and she sent me a link uh, so that you could watch the preparation and everything of them how they walk to their uh, airplanes and how they get in and all that stuff all live it was really cool well I don't know if that was recorded uh, Mrs. Zucker, maybe you can share that in Google Classroom so the kids could check it out because I'm I was encouraging them to see around uh, I think it was about 245 or so or 145 for them to head out to see if they could see the planes but maybe if they have that that'd be cool for the kids to see yes I will check that out and see if I can share that because they took off from Selfridge and then they flew around Michigan they went to Indianapolis Chicago and then they came back to Selfridge so Pretty neat that we have that here in Michigan. Absolutely. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you, Mrs. Zucker. All right. Uh, any of the specials teachers want to uh, say anything? Or I'll, I'll jump back in. Uh, if you haven't looked at the brain break for this week, this week and next week, uh, we are proposing for you to do your theater commercial. So we talked a little bit about it last week. Mrs. Spate remembered one of her favorites from the senior class. Uh, in that brain break about doing commercials, at the bottom it has a couple of fan favorites over the years that you can click on to get some ideas. And this is a fun activity. And again, what's cool about it is we would have done this at home with our iPads anyways. Uh, and uh, you have that opportunity to do that and then we're hoping to share those commercials within the specials Google Classroom as you finish them. So we've got them for this week, we've got them for next week, and you can share them anytime you want to share your commercial. Um, next week also, since some people might be done with their commercial, we also are going to have some videos and ideas on how to make instruments at home. So this kind of goes along with your science unit that you did earlier this year about vibration and sound and uh, shows you some fun, unique ways that you can make your own instruments. And uh, you might want to take a look at what you have in your recycling bin because there's lots of things in there that you can turn into some pretty cool instruments. So uh, some hands-on stuff coming from the music room this week. I love it, Mrs. Zucker. Perfect for our vibrations and sounds unit nice thank you all right mr mills mrs richards any anything you guys want to add i'm all set it's good to see everybody though thanks right. for coming mrs richards absolutely I think mr mills might be having technical difficulties here all right, Mrs. Wildman, what do you think? Are we ready for questions? All right, once we open this door, there's no going back. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's raise those hands. Raise them high. I see right there. We're going to start off with uh, Ryan Mickey. I'm going to get you to go ahead, bud. Ryan Mickey. Last week, I saw in my backyard before we started a movie downstairs. Uh, my uncle Sean thought there were two people walking around in our backyard, but when he yelled saying, hey, um, the, the brown bear turned around and looked at him. It was really cool. We got to see, I got to see the two cousins, but I never saw the brown bear. Oh, that's cool. Stay away, but cool. <laughs> and also I got my um, lizard, my bearded dragon from Raven Hill. Oh, you got one from Mrs. Leach? No, um, somebody else. Okay. Well, get that work caught up, buddy, and you can check out all those animal adaptations. She's got some cool stuff out there. I've seen that about a million times. Have you? It's, fun. it's fun to see Mrs. Leach. Thank you, Ryan, so much. Thank you. All right, let's move to Sadie. Um, 
So I was cleaning out my room yesterday because we moved it around. And, well, not yesterday, but two days ago. And I found this picture of me and Logan. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's awesome, Sadie. Oh, very cute. And I'm very tired. I see that. And we had the Sonics over yesterday. Nice. All right. So we still have to stay six feet. Six, you're good. You got to stay that six feet to stay safe. That's great. Let's go down to Taylor. Thanks, Sadie. Um, I've been working on my latch hook, my can bent one, and I'm almost finished with it. And I've been working on a, a American Girl doll dress for my American Girl dolls. Hmm. And I finished with the t-shirt and the sleeves and the sleeve cuffs. And I finished uh, uh, the neck right here. And I have to do the skirt next. And so in the, um, the things that keep it together as a t-shirt. And my mom's going to put grab one of my American Girl dolls. The one I have, she's the older one. She's like an old fashioned one actually. She she they don't make her anymore. She's her name's Elizabeth. And my aunt Janine gave her to me and she gave me some clothing, but she doesn't came with shoes. So my mom's gonna put it on and next me and my grandma are thinking about making a jean skirt. Nice. Thank you for sharing. Wish you luck on that. Make sure to post some pictures and see so, okay girl? Yeah, that's okay. impressive, Taylor. Very cool. I'd love to see what they turn out like. Okay. All right, let's go to Drew. Um, we've been um, doing lots of work around the house. Like, me and my dad have been going out and cutting lots of wood. And then we've been looking for mushrooms. Can I show you a picture of one of the years that we got so many? Yes. Like we got four bags. And this is just two of them. Oh, oh yeah, hold uh, that closer. Is that you? You look so little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Drew, will you eat those mushrooms? Do you eat them? Yeah, we eat them. Okay. I didn't know if you liked we them. We cook them up and like put them in um, our um, soup and stuff like that and eat them just like that and stuff. Awesome. Well, good luck this year, buddy. I found zero so far. Yeah, me too. Me and my dad have been looking a lot and we can't find any yet. I think Mrs. Wildman's right. It's going to get warm and then we're going to get some rain tomorrow morning and then they're going to pop up. Good luck, yeah. buddy. All right, wonderful. Thanks for sharing. We're going to go on to Jameis. Um, so there's a social media platform called TikTok, and you can browse videos on it. And so I was looking on it, and I saw this thing. You guys were talking about the airplanes that were honoring the frontline workers. Yes. It was in a city and it was like these drones and they were like flying around making really cool things. They almost looked like fireworks in the sky. It was really cool. I, I was really uh, fascinated by it. And were it like- Frontline workers, Jameis? Was it like a- Yeah. Laundry? Oh, very cool. Yeah. And they were like spinning around and like making hearts and stuff. And I really liked it. So a whole bunch of drones kind of synchronized together in the sky? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Can you imagine how difficult that would be to fly those drones just right? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be hard. That is awesome. Mrs. Wildman, we actually have a former student that went to the military, and that's what he does, flies drones for the military. Wow. That's you know? cool. Very cool. So, Jameis, there you go. You love that robotic tech stuff. You would enjoy that. Yeah. You'd have to factor in all the weather and wind and all that stuff, but you'd be awesome there. Mm -hmm. That'd be a cool job. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Jameis. Okay, let's go on to Cece. Um, I taught my dog how to open a door. <laughs> so if, if we let him out to go to the bathroom and then 
he can just come back up. We're trying to teach him how to close the door too. He's still at that. Does he do it with his paws? See? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. He can't get out though. He can only get in. He can only. Oh, okay. So when he's done going to the bathroom, he can only come back in the house. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Is that a border collie or? What is he? That's Springer Spaniel. Oh, Springer Spaniel. Nice. Spaniels are good dogs. Okay. All right. I was happy yesterday. Buffy was finally adopted from the Shalavoy Humane Society. She had been there the longest. Over 16 months, Buffy has been wow. there. You guys have probably saw her. I walked her a couple times. She was the white one with the brown. And she finally got a forever home. So that was good. Okay, so to Emma. My birthday is next week and it's on a Zoom day. Oh, yee, excellent. You were talking party plans last week, weren't you, Emma? It's going to be a huge celebration. Really. <laughs> Socially distanced, right, Emma? Yeah, all my friends are going to drive by my house. That's awesome. It'll be so good to see them. I love those parades. Very cool. All right, thanks for sharing. Tyvin. Okay. So my dad spent a lot of money to buy a new computer and he gave me his old one. Oh. So we're about to look at my new setup. That's really exciting. Oh, very nice. You can log into Google Classroom on that. Yep. <laughs> Get some uh, IXL going, right, Mrs. Wildman? Bam! <laughs> he, I think he's thinking of maybe a Fortnite game, but we're thinking I excel. Is awesome. that Adele? Is that Adele, Tyvin? Adele, yeah. Nice. My dad likes that brand. Yeah, it's a good brand. Yeah. Thanks High for showing it. That's a beautiful screen you got there. Yeah, my dad bought a two foot long screen. It was a lot of money i think it was like 200. wow yeah they're not yeah. but they're worth it yeah it is worth it definitely cool congratulations yeah i'm really excited because i had a really bad computer mm -hmm. so well have fun with that buddy nice awesome. i will all right allison, fun. i think you're up allison the unicorn yep Um, so, um, say, um, I had to make my mom a chalk drawing, like we do at, um, at school, but we never got to, so we did it at my house, and we made this. Aw. Oh, that's fun. Is that a hot air balloon? Yeah. Very cool, Allison. We did something like that for Mother's Day one year, didn't we, Mrs. Wildman? We sure did, with the flowers. Yep. That's very cool. That I was the year she had, that was with Katie. That's why she's... Aww. Nice job. Right. Yeah, and then... Okay. Um, and then... Um, we went to my cousin's house, except we stayed six feet apart. And um, and then we um, just hung out a little bit. And then, um, then we had to go home. Oh, yeah. And then um, when we're going to go mushroom hunting, we're going to go in East Jordan. Awesome. Uh -oh. Don't get Mrs. Wildman's secret spots. Oh, no, no. No, no. We're calling our secret spots. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom has a yeah, mom. <laughs> All right. Thank you for sharing, honey. Very cool. I love that drawing. Let's go on to Theo. 
Um, I made a peanut butter cake off of my recipe for the Mother's Day project. The peanut awesome. butter cake yeah. I put on. How did it turn out? Good. And then, um, me and my dad went mountain biking on the new school trail for the third one. That was fun, but we didn't get to do all of it because it was all closed off for some of it. So and that Great. was it, really. Theo, I wanted to let you know too. They're um, working on that bike path from Boyne Mountain to Boyne City, and they've been paving it. So that should be done here pretty quick. Yeah, my dad told me about that yesterday. Yeah, different type of biking, but you might enjoy that. So it should be. They got a good chunk of it paved. So. Yeah. Nice. Me and my dad and mom and sister sometimes do those paths, but not that much. School trail for the Spate family this evening. We're going to hit it, so maybe we'll see you there. Yeah. Because yeah. right now he's at work. Because he got put back on. Yeah. If you can catch him in the evening. It stays light pretty late, so you can get a good ride in later. Awesome, Theo. How about Carson, our buddy? Me and my dad are going to crawfish. We're going to catch crawfish today. And um, we went fishing for suckers like a week ago. And I caught a huge one. My dad caught like a small one. Usually it goes the other way. He catches the bigger one and I catch the smaller one. And um, we went what? to see the planes fly, but we didn't see anything. We literally just sat there for an hour and listened to my brother complain. <laughs> like Carson, where are you fishing today? Uh, Crawfish. Um, we're going downtown. Oh, in Boyne? Yeah. OK. Nice. I've never I done that. Never. He posted that sucker in uh, Seesaw. You smoked that? Mm hmm Yeah. Good. It was my first time having them. Very cool. Good luck today, my friend. Yeah. Should be nice weather. I want to see those crawfish. That's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we uh, ready for Miss Kylie? Even though my birthday is in a couple of months, in, in July, I'm still starting to plan it. I'm, we might have a sleepover because I'm turning double digits. And if we get this house, I'll have the biggest room out of me and my three siblings. And all my friends will sit in there. Very cool, Miss Kylie. Hopefully you find out soon about that new house. Exciting. Thank you for sharing. How about Kaylee? Um, my brother came over yesterday and we went for a bike ride. Oh. It was a little cold yesterday though, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Where did you guys go? Just around town or did you we hit a trail? Went, we went just around our block. Awesome. It's good to get outside. Today's supposed to be beautiful. Other than Thursday morning, it should be a nice little stretch of weather. So good. get out again. And next week he's going to Florida with his girlfriend for a week. For a week for vacation? Yeah, yeah. And then after all this is over, me and my sister get to go to his house. And we get to spend the weekend with him. And where does he live, kiddo? He lives and um, he lives two hours away. Two hours away? Okay, downstate probably. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. But thanks, Kaylee. All right, I think we got Zaley ready. Miss Zaley, how are you, my dear? Um, I'm doing good. I have 
four things, which is my about my tooth this morning and and it, yesterday and I think I forgot about the fourth one. Actually, no, the fourth one. Okay, first one is is um I couldn't get on Zoom because I can't do fractions. I'm not able to do fractions, but I know how to identify the the halves, thirds, fourths, and then the third. And then the second one is is um I think this tooth is uh, ready to come out for a reason. Looks like you're going to be getting some money from the tooth fairy, Miss Daly. What do you think? Guess uh, I'm like trying. If it's like every time if I do this. one is is I was playing Royal High yesterday on Roblox. <clears throat> Who has played Royal High? Okay. Who's they, I'll tell you I've never done Roblox. They can raise their hand if they want if they know Royal High. Yeah, where are my Roblox Cause, players? Because I've players played it. Play Even though I'm not the host. There you go. Connor's tried it. Emma's tried and it. Sterling, you got quite a few last classmates. Last Charlotte. one is... And then... And I forgot the last thing to share after, like, um, the meeting on... On Friday, it's I'm I'm gonna make it um the Roblox one about Roblox. I can I can say I'm gonna, gonna be the host about the after your meeting, and then make it my own meeting about Roblox. And then the last one was like um I watched <laughs> um people scamming real high. By someone trading them, and and no one, and then they don't trade them back. And then I accidentally watched it past nine, which was until nine oh one, and I was like, oh no, I I I you forgot. I did not focus <laughs> at the time. Well, thank you for sharing that, honey. And then that's all. Make sure to Roblox on. Yep, Zaley, it's good to see you smiling it's away. All. And I know you'll, you'll get your all your work done for Mrs. Richards for math, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you, honey. Good job. All right, let's go to Sterling. Here's my puppy. I can't see it. Here's my one puppy, and she's an Dope. ankle biter. <laughs> and uh, she's a pit bull mixed with blue healer, and she's really fast, and she's going to get shot today. She heard you. She heard you. <laughs> Sterling, what's her name? Shelby. Shelby, an ankle biter, huh? <laughs> we call her Shelby. <laughs> Sterling, that cracks me up, man, an ankle biter. Oh, you're getting better at now. I'm getting better at math. Yeah, Sterling, you've been doing a great job getting your work going, buddy. I appreciate that. Yep, doing good. Yep. Me too. Thank you. Yeah, nice work, buddy. Yep, doing real good. Thanks for sharing your ankle biter. My dog would call that dog a snack. Just so. <laughs> <laughs> just a little kind of snack. <laughs> Thank you, Sterling. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Haley, let's go to you, my dear. Haley. Um, so last night, my grandpa Don, he's on my dad's side, and he called my dad, and 
he is selling his motor home and it um, sleeps five people and he wants us to come to Wisconsin and come buy it. He said um, that we get to pick the price and my parents are gonna decide about it, but we might go get it this weekend. Oh, that's exciting. Are you, do you like camping and being outside? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Haley, that would be so much fun for your family. Mm -hmm. Good luck. And if you get it, pictures on Seesaw, my dear. That's right. That's right. All right, let's go to Charlotte. Thank you for sharing, Haley. Charlotte. Um, this isn't really important. I just want to show my dog because she's like really cute. Aww. Aww. She's Delilah. Her name is Delilah, and I don't know how old she is because um, she was on a farm. She used to be an old sheepdog, and um, yeah. But we had to we shaved her because like she's like she was really really fluffy because like um she kept leaving lots of hair. So my dad had to shave her, and like sometimes when he got close to Delilah, like a little too close, he, she would growl, she'll growl at anyone if she gets a little too close to their face, to her face. She's a cutie, Charlotte, she's a cutie. Very much so. All right, well we got, it looks like we got a couple of hands left. We got Oliver here. All right, my man. Um, in a couple of weeks is my birthday, it's June 4th. And um, uh, my grandma's birthday is today. And we made um, banana bread for her birthday, uh, I mean, for Mother's Day. And we're making cupcakes for her birthday today. And my sister's birthday is um, uh, May 20th. And my birthday is June 4th, and my grandpa's birthday is June 4th. Wow. Birthday season at the John Check. Homestead, huh, buddy? Yeah, nice. Very nice that you're doing all those baking gifts. Are you working with mom in the kitchen for those? Yeah, because there's lots of good uh, math fractions. You gotta love a fraction when you're cooking, right, Oliver? Plus, then you get to taste everything. Awesome. Oliver, it's good to see you, buddy. Hey, make sure you check out the math video today. You might enjoy seeing a smiling face in there. Nice. All right. I'm looking, Mrs. Wildman, for any hands that are up. I see. Uh, well, I, I got Caden here. I, I got Caden down here, Mrs. Wildman. Do you? Yeah. Because yeah, I don't think he's had a chance to say much. And this is his first oh, Zoom. Got a, okay. Yeah, a, a real hand, not a virtual yeah. hand. Yeah. Okay, Caden, go ahead, buddy. Well, yesterday we were playing airsoft in our front yard. And I got shot right here in the forehead by my uncle with his 280 foot um, range one shotgun. And then I was using my aunt's um, AR and I shot my brother. And then my dog, she's gonna be two on July 3rd. Nice, Caden, you got a face mask on when you're playing airsoft, right buddy? Good, you gotta protect yourself. Those things can hurt. <laughs> Thanks, Caden. Thanks for coming to Zoom today. It's good to see you, buddy. Absolutely. Next week, same time, same place. Yeah, we love having you. I'm looking for any other real hands, and I think we got them covered. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, I see a hand there. <laughs> this is, <wrong. laughs> is that Mickey? There it is. There it is. All right, Ryan, Mickey, you're up, buddy. Go now. Go ahead, bud. Where'd he go? Uh oh. He All left the meeting. He left the meeting. He left the meeting. Oh, oh man. Bummer. Well, I'm sure it was gonna be something good. Yes. Yep. It always makes me smile. Yep. He's always got something good. All right, anybody Hi. else want to share anything? Oh, Dr Drew's got something. Go ahead, Drew. Um, so me and my brother, or our whole family was playing football last night out in our yard. 
and my brother was going after the ball and he needed it and I tried stopping and I tripped and it, I hit him and his two, two front teeth came out. <laughs> True. <laughs> they were pretty wiggly and stuff. He wanted them out. Now he has the famous doggy door. Oh yeah. Now he's a first grader, right? Yeah. Yep. That is a classic first grader. We still grader. can't. We can't find the one tooth out Ooh. there. We've been looking for like the last day. Mm. Now, were you? Did you feel bad, Drew, or are you kind of like my big brother and said you deserved it? No, I felt bad for him. Okay, very nice. Good big brother then. Good big brother. Oh, thanks, Drew. I hope he's doing all right, getting those teeth under his pillow. Uh, yeah, I hope so too. I think that's it, Mrs. Wellman. I think we got them all. Look at all those smiley faces. So good to see them today. We got some birthdays just passed, some big birthdays coming up. Emma's got a parade going there. Yeah, Sadie. I just want to say make sure to get uh, Indian in the cover done. You don't have to, I assigned uh, chapters 10 and 11 today, but that doesn't have to be done for your special Zoom meeting because that's due Friday. You just got to make sure to get nine that I assigned on Monday. Many of you already have that turned in. Nice. I excelled on and 11.30, right, Mrs. Bate, on Friday? Yep. On Friday. It'll be a good one. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, guys. It was good to see you. Happy morale hunting. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Hello. Oh, it's dog out. Oh, hi. hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Mrs. Wildman, Mr. Mills, Mrs. Hi. Richards, thank you. Caden, come thank next week, buddy. Toby. Hi, Daily. Yeah, buddy. Bye, Bye Toby. Bye. 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 Bye, Zay. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Olivia. How do you think you're calling her mom?